Tap Tap the Magnificent here. Welcome to Let's Play a Cave Story. If you haven't heard of it, Cave Story is a little... Yeah, Dokutsu Monogatari, I guess is the original name. It's a Japanese indie game. It's sort of a platformer slash shooter. The original game is all in Japanese, but there's a simple little translation patch you can get from... Um, there's a fan site that I got it from. And I'll just link that in the description so you can get it if you want to play it. And you're just sort of this little robot guy. And I haven't actually beaten this game. I started it... It's been, I guess, about two years. So I started it about two years ago, and I never finished it. And I got reminded of it earlier today, so I thought it'd be a good idea to LP it because, basically because it's easy and I probably won't have to edit much of anything, if anything at all, out. And I was just having a little trouble with the Mega Man Zero games. Hmm, what's in here? Yoink! Transmission. Who is Sue? She is apparently a user, and she needs to respond. Oh no! Anyway, what was I talking about? I had. Uh, oops! Ow! Didn't even see that guy. Mega Man Zero, I was just having to... I was pretty much just screwing things up, but... It is a harder game, and I was thinking I should just play something easier. Since I'm not really in the groove of... Recording LPs or anything. And ideally, it should take me like... 12 minutes to record a... 10 minute recording, but... It's taking like half an hour or so, so... I don't really want to spend that much time just for a random video, so... I thought using something easy that I'd never have to edit anything, I could at least get in the, back in the habit of recording, and this is a really great game too, so that'd be nice to have a playthrough of it. And those little triangle things I'm collecting are sort of like experience. They level up your guns, but if you take a hit, your guns lose a level of experience, so it's never permanent. But it's nice to have it. Oh no, it's trouble and rabbit place. Ow. Hello, random guy. Is your head okay? Oh no, he's king. He has a big scar on his face. We apparently don't like Sue. I at least think we're a robot. I'm not entirely sure why we have an air meter. But I sort of hazily remember that we're a robot. Oops. And we can't make jumps, apparently. By we, I exclusively mean me. Hello, little rabbit dude. Not sure how you could end up washed up in a very small pond. Doesn't appear to be fed from anything. Unless she fell through there, I guess. I keep trying to run, but there's no run button in this game. And I guess that was Sue that's running from us. Give me the key. This guy just likes getting beaten up, don't you? Toroko. I guess that's not Sue. Where'd you go? Locked. That's Arthur's house. I guess Sue is in there. What's in here? 
Oh, it's a shark. Oh, hello. Rabbit thing. Um, it's not that you. Very good. He's a mean guy. Yeah, killing people is generally considered mean. I mean, if you're judgmental, at least. Uh-ohs. Huzzah! I love these guys. They're sort of like the recurring mini-boss of this game. And you don't have a nose, you suitcase thing. Like, seriously, is he supposed to be a suitcase or what? And that's not Sue. I thought I made that abundantly clear. The suitcase's name is Balrog. <laughs> so what's your deal? Oh, uh, I found out in a quick test round that you can actually say no and not do this fight, but I'm gonna fight Balrog. Just because he's fun. Whoop. It's usually pretty funny, so I find it very fitting that you could just say no to him and he wouldn't even want to fight you. Fought off Balrog. You get some experience type points. And I guess we're gonna go tell that one dude, the leader dude, about yeah, Toroko has been kidnapped. The only girl left in the village is Sue. You just sound so caring, buddy. I can't even tell what your freaking genders are, so you shouldn't be that discriminatory. Alright, these are save rooms. Indicated by the floppy disk, of course. And you get health by the heart monitor thingy. Or the monitor with a heart on it. Assembly Hall. Key to Arthur's house. Not sure why we asked about that, but... Honestly, the conversation order in this event is a little linear, so you're supposed to talk to that guy first. And since he left, we're gonna take a peek in here. So we're not supposed to go here. Because there are mushrooms, which are apparently dangerous. And that guy will kill you. He will kill your face. That is how my... Oh, you can hurt him? Oh, I want to kill him then. If he can be killed. Huh. I didn't know you could kill him. Yeah, I did a quick test run to make sure I could... I remember the controls and everything. And I ended up bumping into that guy and died. Because he hits you for like 10 damage. And we got a key! We can find Sue, maybe. Oh, and it's a giant mushroom. Okay. Now you're dead. I think if you talk to the guard guy here before, he mentions you can't go in the graveyard because of mushrooms. Oh, and there's a treasure chest. I'm gonna get that in a second, I guess. I love that somebody's been kidnapped or possibly killed, and they're like, Oh no! Where did the key go? Oops, I screwed that up. I'm gonna go get that treasure chest quick. I think you can get it from here. Yep. There we go. What are you? Map system. I know that brings up a little this little map for whatever area. I don't remember using it very much, but if there were some levels that were more maze-like than others, I just didn't get to them yet. I think this is this is Arthur's house. Ah, uh, no Sue, apparently. You can save up there. Words light up the screen. 
egg corridor. Sure. I like being granted permission to access corridors, potentially with eggs, flowers. Okay. I'm sure that's not ominous foreboding or foreshadowing. Not at all. Bye. I guess I'll wrap this video up right here and we'll go to the egg corridor next video. But those flowers are actually supposed to be a bit of foreshadowing. There's a... one of the rabbit things tell you about how red flowers are bad and look what color those are. They're red. Well, next video guys!